science is not in, in principle committed to the idea that there's no afterlife or that the, the mind is identical to the brain right. or that materialism is true. Science is completely open to whatever in fact is true. And if it's true that the consciousness is being run like software on the brain and can, by virtue of ectoplasm or something else we don't understand, can be dissociated from the brain at death, that would be part of our growing scientific understanding of the world if we could discover it. Now, uh, and there's, there are ways we could in fact discover that if it were true. The problem is there are very good reasons to think it's not true. And we know this from now 150 years of neurology where you damage areas of the brain and faculties are lost. And they're clearly, it's not that everyone with brain damage is perf has their soul perfectly intact. They just can't get the words out. This is the, you, everything about your mind can be damaged by damaging the brain. You can cease to recognize faces, you can cease to know the names of animals, but you still know the names of tools. I mean, the, 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 the fragmentation in, in, in the way in which our, our mind is parcelated at the level of the brain is not at all intuitive, and, ha, and there's a lot known about it. And what we're being asked to consider is that you damage one part of the brain and the mind something about the mind and, and, and subjectivity is lost. You damage another and, and, and yet more is lost. And yet if you damage the whole thing at death, we can rise off the brain with all our faculties intact, recognizing grandma and speaking English. Now,